so we've come to the end we've just got to write a few files to indicate what we've built here uh, this one I need to put a name in here so I'll just put kernel text here and likewise with this one that should be it so I can cat those uh, NFS release is 10.0 LSB that looks fine and uh, the other one is OS release so I get counted if you want to register as an NFS user there's a bit here about moving on to BLFS and what you might want to do while you've still got the LFS system in a root. But apart from that, for a basic system, we've done. So let's unmount all the file systems. So we haven't got user or home mounted, but we've got the LFS partition mounted, which is actually replicated down here as well. That's busy, so let's have a look why that is. Oh yes, we've got boot mounted still, that's why. So let's unmount that one. Yep, now we can unmount LFS. It's still busy. Is that because I'm in it here? No. Oh, it's because I'm sitting in it here, so let's just CD back here. That's better. So let's just do mount again, make sure there's none there. No, it's all gone. And in theory, when I do a shutdown um, and reboot it, it should come up. So I'm not going to do this command here because I'm in this graphical environment. What I'm going to do is just log out. should go by itself yep and I'll just click on the quit button here and do a reboot and hopefully we'll get a grub menu coming up with the extra menu we just entered and with any luck it'll boot into our new Linux from scratch 10 system So, yep, there's the menu. We've got the extra option at the top there, which was the default. So, I'm going to press enter and hopefully it will boot. And, yep, there it is. It's worked first time. So, I'm going to log in. Oh, it's root because there's no other user at the moment. And that's worked. And I can do cat. LFS to make sure I've got the right partition booted. I have. Uh, let's look at the LSB release. Yep. And also the OS release file. Yep, they're all there. You name minus A to look at details of the kernel, uh, the kernel. And you can see, I can't actually show you with the mouse because there's no functionality there, but you can see it's version 5.8.3. And it was compiled a matter of, well, 15 minutes ago. Um, if I do the time, you can see, oh, it's actually just under 20 minutes ago. So that's all successful. Um, I hope you have as much success building it yourself as I did. Um, I hope you enjoy it as well. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you have enjoyed it, please um, click on the thumb up and like it. And click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this from me. 
Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.